Okay, so we all know horses are unpredictable, especially uh, if you've got a wide horse, saddles can kind of move, okay, a lot. And I get asked the question, oh, my old saddle didn't move. Yes, but your old saddle caused your horse's back pain, mainly because the saddle used to peg in there and there, give shoulder pain and back pain. And of course, you get this, really pegging in, it gives the horse a lot of grief. But when you put the correct gallop size on, you're going to get movement because you're putting a curve onto a curve, not a triangle onto a curve, but a curve onto a curve. And yeah, as I said, horses are unpredictable. And when you're riding a round horse, if they shoot sideways, you can come off very quick. I'll explain to you a little bit more, a few tricks. Thank you. As I said before, it's all tacked up. Keep away from the um, nylon wicking saddlecloths, very important because they're very slippery. And also keep away from sheepskin. And I love sheepskin, but on a wide horse, it's a disaster. You just go zip right around. The other thing I do is um, I put a breastplate on because you can't use it in competition, granted, but it's great for training because if the saddle moves to the right, you can see it sort of pulls a bit there and vice versa. And the other thing is getting impatient. The other thing is the girth. We call them stabiliser girths, good wide bearing area. Okay, it does stabilise. We sell these and I absolutely love them for other reasons as well. Work well. Not 100% effective, nothing is, but it helps. That helps, that helps, that helps. It all counts, okay? Okay, come on Willie, don't mate. 